Good morning and welcome to another Inside Leisure where we talk to people across the leisure industry to find out what they've been doing during lockdown and their future plans. Good morning Michael, so great to have you on Inside Leisure today. How are you today? I'm good thank you, are you okay? Yeah absolutely great, thank you so much for um, talking to us. So um, just to, yeah, what have you been doing during lockdown and obviously coming out of lockdown? Have you reopened uh, yet? No, we reopened on the 21st um, for all our general customers, so not long to go in the final stages of making sure everything's in place. Um, we spent the last six months essentially researching everything COVID and making sure everything's safe and secure and how we can return efficiently, viably, uh, safely, and making sure that everyone comes back, not just to a, a safe and viable experience, but also the same fun and progressive experience they had prior to lockdown. Great. So um, Big Fish, Little Fish, tell us a little bit about your business, how long it's been set up and how many sites and children you... We've been with. going now since 1998, um, so it's a family business. My dad started the business back in 98 and we started with a smaller house pool and we then progressed quite quickly into building our own uh, larger facility wow. um, in the same site. So we don't operate in sort of different places, we have our own set facility, it's a 15 by 5 pool. Uh, 1.4 meter depth all the way around um, so it's an ideal learning environment everything we put in place was made for people of all ages to come to learn to swim so the layout from entry to exit is all geared around learner swimmers and well advanced swimmers as well right so um you're obviously a swim star with sta which is wonderful yes. before you undertook that program was there anything you felt um that you may not have in place um, before undertaking it or were you pretty confident that you'd have all those kind of procedures set up? It, it's actually something that we've monitored for quite some time. Um, one of the aspects, because there is quite a lot of work that goes into becoming a, a swim star swim school. So as we're sort of busy all the time every day, having the time to actually get everything together um, took a bit of sort of time, spread over time. So looking at every aspect, what we had in place, what we had to put in place, and then when we actually came to making the application, we had everything ready and available to put in. Um, so whereas lockdown has been frustrating in a lot of ways, it's been a chance to progress and enhance everything about the school. And the Swim Star programme really helps push you in the right direction to make sure that everything you're doing from start to finish for your staff, your teachers, customers, everyone in between is absolutely spot on. Right. So I'm assuming, did you find the, easy, uh, the process easy? To yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was easy. I mean, we were sort of, we were, as the years have gone on, we've been evolving the business to go more toward everything being digital, paper free and making sure things organised, every procedure's in place and we work closely with our HR and insurance consultants and making sure that everything we do in that respect is, is spot on at all times. So the transition over to the programme was quite simple, um, but there is a lot that goes into that process, obviously, to make it happen. So have you made any kind of improvements based on the programme or even improvements in terms of implementing guidance? You know, I suppose you've had to make some adaptions to the way you're teaching and running your business. Yeah, so it gives you a lot of insight into how to sort of streamline and prioritise different aspects of the business and how that should relate to a customer and your teachers and all your procedures in between. One of the things we've done um, as part of our return to work in, in the COVID environment is release quite substantial customer guidance. So detailing every aspect of entry to exit, what you've got to do in between, making sure everyone knows exactly what's going to go on, what's changed, what's different, what we've modified. Um, it allows you to really look into your teaching practices and making sure that everything is absolutely as it should be. Um, and everything's nice and efficient and runs smoothly. No, oh, great. Um, so, you know, during lockdown, just out of interest, how have you kept engaging with your customers and have you had good feedback and engagement? Yeah, so one of the things that we were very keen to do, we have quite a lot, well, a large customer base. And obviously when businesses went into lockdown, it was an incredibly uncertain time. And the last thing we wanted to do because, um, with our customers, as we've had some of our customers, we have one family who's actually been with us since the first week we opened. Um, less from us and how we're obviously in their 20s, but it's, it's fantastic. Wow. And that, that's a rather large element of what we have. And another recurring aspect we have is kids who swam with us 15, 16 years ago, they're now bringing their children and it's lovely to see. Um, so we have a very, very keen um, aspect of, of engaging with our customers and keeping that relationship up throughout the years. So one thing we've set in place straight away 
and we're using an email marketing system. So essentially able to get emails out to customers, keep them informed, let them know exactly what we're doing, what we plan to do, what's going to be set in place, when we're returning, what's going to happen, what's different. And we've kept everyone engaged all the way through. Um, and I'm glad to say that's received a lot of positive feedback and people have been really reassured by our approach to making sure their children and themselves return to a safe environment. Well, it sounds like you've done a wonderful job. Well done. So uh, just in a nutshell, would you recommend SwimStart to other, other swim stars? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's something, even, even if you think that you are absolutely spot on with everything you do, any facility should always be open to learning more about your industry because you're never going to be the finished product. You've always got something else to learn from somewhere. And this probably does highlight any possible areas where you can improve. And it certainly helps us um, streamline and appropriate all our procedures in the best possible standards. So we know we're adhering to every standard that the STA require um, and exceed everything we were doing normally. Uh, that's wonderful. And congratulations on putting all that wonderful guidance in place for reopening. I wish you all the best of luck. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Zoe. Thank you.